certainly over the past three or four years, a change that I've been able to be part of and be aware of is the use of various types of injectables, particularly exosomes and or as we now use the new nomenclature, extracellular vesicles. But I've said before, and I'll, I'll reiterate that I really believe the future of hair restoration will, will lie in large part with using effective injectables. And that might become a, a potpourri of different things. Exosomes, for example, which I've used extensively, are amazing. And that's just the tip of the spear. And so wait till they really start getting going with some, some new types of combinations. But that's one example. I think instrumentation is another. More improved FUE devices, that's something that you're not going to know about or see uh, unless you're able to visualize it you know, in person here. The third would be, for example, uh, types of uh, blades I use now for making recipient incisions. The sapphire blade and the sapphire handle is just a complete game changer because it's so sharp that you're able to create sites that are much more closely uh, packed together because there's so much less trauma. So these are just a few things that, uh, that come to mind.